The My Network menu includes a comprehensive list of the, your customers along with key details like balance, overdue invoices, links sent. You can tailor the list by applying filters. Filters are covered in a separate video. Information can be exported to CSV file if needed. Notice the suggested Next Steps panel, which is the same as the Home menu. Once the customer is clicked on, there is more high-level information to view specific to that particular customer, including any engagement in the last 30 days. From the Contacts button, you can seamlessly send invoices, reminders, and other key financial communications directly from Sage Connect. By integrating contact management and messaging functionalities, Sage Connect empowers you to work more efficiently and effectively. Messages are covered in more detail later in a separate video. You can also add internal notes and reminders about your customer by selecting Notes. These internal notes allow you to add in details about this customer that you may want to reference later on, such as your primary contact is on holiday in July or they've indicated payment was sent last week. There is no limit to the number of contacts that can be created in Sage Connect. To create a new contact, click Add New Contact, then complete the information as required. You also can choose this person as the primary contact or default recipient. The primary contact is the main point of contact for this customer. The default recipients are contacts for this customer and are automatically added to messages sent through the customer account portal. At the time of this recording, any contacts created via the portal don't write back to Sage 50 accounts. Therefore, you should make sure that all of your contact information is up to date in Sage 50 accounts. By default, the portal assigns the primary contact to the main contact from the Customer Details tab of the customer record in Sage 50. The email address is picked up from the Email 1 field. The primary contact can be changed from the Set Primary Contact button, and the default recipients can be changed from the Set Default Recipients button. The engagement level of the customer can be seen next to their name. In this case, the customer is classed as Explorer. Hovering over the eye gives more information around this as shown. There are four engagement levels, passive user meaning no engagement, spectator meaning low engagement, Explorer meaning medium engagement, and finally power user meaning high engagement. To view the transactions associated with this customer, click on the view as customer button. Based on the filters applied, you can see a list of the customer's transactions. Notice the paperclip icon next to the invoice number in the ID column. Clicking on this shows the PDF copy of the invoice. This can be printed or downloaded from here. To view any transactions linked to the invoice, click on the link as shown. You can now see the payment for this sales invoice. If you click on the payment, you can see which invoice it was used to pay as shown. On the left-hand side of the screen shows the company information, the customer's contact information, and the account balance. It also shows a count of any open or overdue invoices. This number changes depending on the filter applied. It's very quick and easy for you to send a message to your customer. Simply click Send Message, then tailor the email accordingly.